in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to tame your hamster. Before you start the actual taming process, you should allow your hamster two to three days for them to settle in and get used to their surroundings. This will help in the taming process. Get your hamster used to having your hands in their cage by refilling food and water or rest rustling the bedding. This will get them used to knowing your hands are going to be in the cage and just knowing you're there. When your hamster is awake, try handing them a healthy treat such as vegetables or sunflower seeds. You don't want to use anything unhealthy such as a yogurt drop because you are going to be using a ton of treats during the taming process. So hand your hamster a treat and see if they will take it. If they do take it, you can try giving them a couple of more and see if they'll take those too. After you've started giving them the treats that way, a couple days later you can place your hand flat in the cage and put a few treats on the palm of your hand and see if your hamster will step onto your hand or even sit in your hand and eat the treats. You can do this for a couple of days, get them used to sitting or just taking the treat from your hand. A way I recommend getting your hamster used to your scent is taking some toilet paper and you can just rub it on your skin, rub it in between your hands and that'll get your smell off of you onto the toilet paper. Then you can put it in your hamster's cage and your hamster will go around and collect the toilet paper and it'll smell like you so they'll get used to that smell and they'll use it for their nest so they'll most likely get used to your smell while using it as nesting. Once your hamster has gotten used to taking treats from you and is used to your hand being in the cage, you can slowly start trying to pet your hamster inside the cage. See if while they're eating a treat you can lightly take your pointer finger and just stroke them or use something else to try and stroke them and just get them used to you touching them. Once your hamster is able to take treats from you and they let you pet them, things like that, you can start the bathtub bonding. Now you don't necessarily need to use a bathtub if you don't have a bathtub. You can use a shower that has a door that closes or you can even use a playpen. For bathtub bonding, you are going to need a pillow and a blanket. The reason why is because you're going to be practicing picking up your hamster in the bathtub or whatever area you choose to tame your hamster in and they may jump from your hand so if they do jump they won't hurt themselves because they will be landing on a soft pillow or blanket also don't use a pillow or blanket that is fancy or new try using something that's old so your parents won't get mad at you so you're going to want to set up the bathtub by putting a pillow and blanket in there then you're going to need some type of container or cup to transfer your hamster. This is so you're not exactly picking them up because it can be difficult to pick them straight up because they aren't necessarily tame yet. So you can put a cup or container down, you can even put a treat in and just hold it there and your hamster most likely will, likely will be curious enough to go inside of it. Once they've gone inside of it, you can start lifting it up and take them to the bathtub where you and your hamster can sit down in it together. You can also bring in some treats with you into the area that you're taming your hamster to practice giving them the treats like you have been doing inside of their cage. And now you can just basically let them run around, let them sniff you. Sometimes they'll be curious enough to climb on you, which is really great. And they'll get used to your smell sometimes. Hamsters can get a little bit scared so they'll go into the corners and hide it un under the blankets. I would just try to keep the blankets down so they can't get underneath and just try practice picking them up. If you are a little bit nervous to pick your hamster up like you're scared they're going to bite, I would recommend not trying to show any fear because if you do show fear or you don't trust your hamster, your hamster can pick up on that and then they won't trust you. So try and trust your hamster. And if you really are too scared that they're going to bite you, try some gloves. You can try um, gardening gloves to try and pick them up. But it's most likely your hamster won't bite you. The only reason hamsters do bite is because they are scared. So just try to be gentle with your hamster. Um, you can put your ha hand down and if they climb on it, you can slowly lift it up. And just practice doing things like that to get your hamster used to your hand. 
And that's basically it for my taming process of what I use. I've used this for many of my hamsters and all of it has worked. Now, ta the taming process really depends on your hamster. You have to really be patient with each and every hamster that you have because everyone is different. You may get a hamster that comes actually tame and you might get a hamster that definitely is not tame at all and you might need to try really hard to get them tame. Some hamsters can take up to a couple of months to be tame and some can take up to a couple of days to be tame. When using the Basta bonding method, I'd recommend doing this once or twice a day to get your hamster used to you and eventually your hamster will become tame and let you handle them and not be scared of you. So yeah guys, that's basically it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and I really hope this helps you tame your hamster. If you have any more questions, you can ask down below in the comments and I'll try to answer as many as I can. But basically, just try to be patient and just try really, really hard not to get mad if they don't become tame anytime soon. You may need to try over a couple of months to get your hamsters tame. So yeah guys, thanks for watching. Bye!